Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to Expedition's Room. So, if you remember last time, we managed to successfully infiltrate the warehouse and we managed to get hold of the Greek fire. But now we've actually got to go on to the next stage. But before we do that, we actually, one, learnt that you could loot. So I just quickly ran around and looted all the dead bodies on this map, which is kind of nice. We've got a little bit of equipment to go through. But we've also got some skill upgrades. Um, I guess we'll kick things off with the inventory stuff first. I noticed one, I managed to get a helmet, which is worth having. Not necessarily particularly in-fitting with the Roman style, definitely distinctly Greek. And it seems like we've got an upgraded sword as well, with a base damage of 3 to 7 over 4 to 6. I suppose it's really very similar. With slightly different abilities though, rather than this one has um, sort of the defensive stance. This is going to be giving us a lunge, which higher damage but only has three uses per battle. But I think it's probably going to be an upgrade. So we're going to go for that and obviously the helmet because we are supposed to be a little bit of a heavily armoured monster. Um, moving on. Um, I don't know if we're going to have anything to change here. What's his sword like? Three to five. Okay, definitely an upgrade on the Gladius. Yeah, let's go and throw that in on him. Uh, okay, that makes his sword a little bit better. Is that an upgraded shield? Looks like it. Shield strength increase. Oh, it's not going to look as good though, is it? Oh, at least they paint it in legionary colours. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, has this guy got anything to equip? I don't think so. He's got a staff, hasn't he? You see, these are spears rather than a staff. Um, I suppose we could give him a different selection of clothing, but I kind of like him in old Toga Man. It's kind of in-fitting for his style, I think. Um, moving on then to the Gladiator. So he's got a 1 to 5 base damage spear. We have got a few thorough spears to check through though. So we've got a 4 to 5. Uh, a 2 to 6. And 4 to 5 is probably better, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's quite a close range, that one. He still gets his 1-2 ability with his little knife. It's a precise stab and a lacerate. Uh, generates focus and gives bleeding, potentially, or extra damage if the target is bleeding, which is nice. So then we've got his little dagger, 2 to 5 base. Well, there's a 3 to 6. Well, that critical is quite a lot higher, isn't it? 3 to 6 with a lot more critical. Oh, that's a sword. Base damage minimum plus 1, though. We'll go with the critical. Everyone likes the, the odd random critical chance. Um, then we move on finally to our archer. Uh, 5 to 7 base damage bow. What's that? And that's a 7 to 8, which is definitely an upgrade. The only thing we're going to be losing is one of the abilities is the aim shot. This is nice, but it's not all that great. So yeah, definitely change that out. Cool. On to skills. Um, ourselves, Takunius. What are we going to upgrade? I was thinking something just like a passive, like a, a, a resistance, something like that could be handy to have. Um, currently we've got the minus 10 morale to everything in range. So his shield damage when at full shield strength. Oh, that's kind of nice. So you can shield bash people a little bit more effectively. Or movement reduction from wearing armour. Oh, that's quite nice. I shall have that. Moving on. Um... This is really just our strengthy guys, so let's just go for resistances. Um, then we've got our support class. 24 health restored when healing. Well, that could be handy. Yeah, let's have that. Our gladiator. Um, for the next attack. Mm. Plus dodging. That oh, could be self. Bloodthirsty. Killing of an enemy grants one stack of bloodthirsty. Applies bloodthirsty to itself. 5% damage per stack. Oh, that could be handy. And then on the next upgrade, look, it goes up to 15 damage. Yeah, let's have that. Then we've got an archer. I had a quick look at this one before, actually, and I noticed that that one seemed nice. Interrupting can now attack two targets before it ends. And I noticed we used interrupting quite a lot, so that seems like the best one to have in this sense. So, cool. That's our skills equipped. So, let's get our group moving out. Uh, looks like we're probably going to have to leave this area before we move on and then go back to the open world map, go on to the next area. 
very much behind enemy lines. Come my little group of legionaries. <laughs> what a what a random selection we make up. Okay. Leave the area. Yep. Get on our little group of horses. Go back to the open world map. And I think we're going down to attack a town, was it? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll see when we actually get to the uh, open world map. Oh, that's it. We've got to set fire to the fleet, haven't we? Uh, yeah, I don't think we want to necessarily go for the entire enemy garrison. Oh, I noticed there's a thing here. What does this do? Oh, gained 50 XP. Nice. There's little hidden things everywhere. Look, what's that? Should we go this way? On Operation Explore now. Oh, cool. Some actually nice stuff. Not necessarily particularly good quality armour, but we'll have it all the same. Never turned anything down that was free. Okay, now let's get in and try and infiltrate. Mithlene is the only real city on Lesbos. In recent years, it has harboured many pirate ships, much to Rome's dismay. Okay, let's go. Okay, we've got our character selection pre -locked. Should have six of us then, including myself, so I'm guessing we're probably going to be fighting a lot more enemies this time around. Um, I guess we're going to have to really get in then, try and set these ships on fire, then get out. Maybe this is going to be one where we're going to have to be moving fairly quickly, perhaps. Uh, kind of going to be interesting to see how this one's actually going to work out for us. I think it could be a bit more challenging. We made it here unnoticed. So far, so good. Now we just need to get through that gate with the Greek fire. Okay. Just one guard. Let's you and I go up there and deal with him, Prima. Okay, yeah, Indeed. looks good. We'll see what our options are once we're atop the wall. We will meet you down on the docks. Good luck. Okay, so let's get up to this guy on the wall. I guess we're going up this little narrow patch with a slight bit missing. That looks like a classic video game way up the wall, if you ask me. And it was. <laughs> I'm taking him. Get ready. Okay, she's gonna sneak up on him. Mm, crack. That's a bit brutal. Poor guy. Good. The ship. <laughs> that was one of the options. That other. was brutal. What did you do Fire to that guard? Ready. This part of the docks appears to be infrequently patrolled. Getting to the ships shouldn't be a problem. Let's signal to the others to move the Greek fire crate as close as they can to the galleys. At once, Primo. Okay, Let's everyone's go. moving in. I nice. guess we have a couple of different options for how to get this party started. We could lob a pot of Greek fire onto the deck of that nearest galley from the pier below. That would give us a head start on our main objective. Okay. Or oh, those three guards look half asleep. I'm sure we could take them out the same way I handled this guy here. That means less enemies to fight. I think let's kick things off I with a bang. Let's American burn a galley plans. to the ground. Let's regroup with the others and then decide. Okay, get off the wall then. Let's get down. Looks like we've got our... Is this our Greek fire crate? Yeah. And grab some Greek fire from there and then we'll be good. Okay. Ready. We are. How do you want to do this? Uh, grab a jar, sneak out onto the pier. I think if we'll do that, it's only three guards. We should Announcing be able to take our presence by setting fire to a galley. That is good showmanship. If nothing else, if we all die, we'll burn one down. I think we're away our advantage if we do that. We can thin out the guards a little before they know we're here. I like Queso, but well, no. Stay here. I have the best throwing arm. Okay, he's going to sneak up the ladder. <laughs> Raise the alarm! Romans are within the city walls! We have successfully woken up all of Metilene. We need to burn those ships quickly, or this whole operation will have been for nothing. Hey, wake up! The Romans have come! Okay, everyone knows we're here. The ships are. <laughs> I believe if we set just two galleys aflame, no one can stop the fire spreading. Can he move down here? Aim your jars at the yes. center of each ship. 
Near the mast. If the sails catch fire, that'll be. Well, we can actually spawn up here. This could be an interesting option. Ah, oh, but no one's got a jar, have they? Yeah, no, we've got to spawn down here to get the jars. But we could run down this way onto the deck of the first ship, depending as the fire doesn't spread massively, and then fight across the decks onto the next one, rather than fighting these guards down here. Hmm, interesting thought. Um, let's get the heavies to the front line then. Mm, yeah. Um... got to deal with these guys haven't we so we've got a dagger guy uh, one of the just the gym one of the gymnasts one of the low rankings yeah let's heavies move up I almost don't want to move these guys out of cover oh these actually can collect some Greek fire while they're here and then how much range does our archer have Could almost oh no three health damage are too far away to really do a lot well I think in which case we just go on up on a pre-aim and then we go with that yeah seems sensible oh we're gonna get shot from here ow and he got a critical Jesus that archer's got long range that's not quite the start I was hoping for We've got quite a lot of stuff moving in haven't we I think one of them, this is a Jinko Jim Knights is now incapacitated. I think one of them accidentally triggered the, uh, triggered the auto interruption. <laughs> I think one of them went straight down. Okay, the, basically the entire enemy army is now advancing on my position. It's now just going to become like a wave hold, isn't it? Because we're not going to be able to get out of here. Ah, there's the second trigger. Nice. Do with that enemy archer. Though, that's the problem. Oh dear, dear, oh dear. Right, let's move the heavy up then. Yeah, let's tap this guy over here, and we get a deflect. Nice. Then let's yeah move the next guy up. Just use a normal attack on this gym knight. Fine. So now, if... Can we hit both? Cannot see that target. If I move here... Finish off the gym knight. Which will give me another attack. Oh, it's only going to use my flame though, isn't it? Well then, let's... Set off on auto attack up there. Get my gladiator trying to move him up past the enemy archer that's trying to shoot him into the living back. Ow, he triggered the auto. Well, now you're going to get shanked to death. Day. And then let's start running up the ramp to close in the gap on this archer. Oh, two hex! Two hex! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Perfect. That's what we wanted. Okay, nice. And he has got Greek fire, has he? Who picked up the jars? Oh yeah, he's got a jar there. We only actually need one, technically, but since this gladiator guy is looking likely is about to imminently get shot, then uh, I've only got two turns, don't be reinforcements. Okay. Nice, they're down. Enemy archer trying to run, and they're down. Double interrupt for the win. I love that archer. Definitely the best best character I think I've got in my legionary outfit at the moment. I see them. Let's get those bastards. Over there. Advance. Oh, this ship is now starting to get properly on fire. <laughs> I think there might be actually enemies in the hold of that ship. Okay, so we've basically cleared everything immediately in front of us. Let's start to move up then with the heavies. 
So we've got a hoplite coming on the right. Have we got anyone coming from behind? No, no one's climbing down. Not going to be able to escape on this ship soon, so glad I didn't go up that way. This guy's kind of injured. Um, let's bring our support up then. I don't think there's going to be any way for this archer to actually shoot and get hits unless they can shoot from there on this... Uh... Oh, we can hit. Should we set him on fire? Might as well, it'll be a laugh, wouldn't it? It's not shielded, so he'll burn nicely. Perfect. Then we've got this hot light from the right, and the rest of the stuff coming down, including the archer, which is a pain. Fair bit of stuff to deal with, and we're going to have reinforcements next turn, I think, which I don't know where they're going to come from. Tough match, tough match. He's still burning. Ow. God, he hits for six. They hit so hard. Oh, well, it was distant, so it was only one. So we've got two enemy archers to deal with, which is going to be a pain. And we've got this hot light we've got to deal with. Here. Okay, and they've got reinforcements. And then we've got another three turns. What do they get? Two gym knights. Right. Um. Well, that should hit him guaranteed minimum of force. If you definitely will die. That's my abilities done with him. Hoplite. How do we want to play this? Well, we've got to take him down. And he's going to have his shield up. Is he hittable from here? Yes. Let's push up then. Yeah, he triggered my shield hit. We should hit down his full shield, which we do. I think, unfortunately, this gladiator is going to die because he's going to get shot by archers. But we now have no choice but to give him the old one too. These people are so weak. And then we can. Oh, I cannot see target. One. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? We could push up my remaining guy and deal with the gladiator. Or we could confront the... Soli here. I think that's probably going to be the thing to do, because we might be able to pin him into this gap a little bit more. Oh, we got deflected. Damn. So everyone's out of action points, aren't they? Um, we've got those two gym knights coming in. Oh, tough match. He's got his shield back up a bit. Ow, he stabs me in the chest. The archer's going to kill the gladiator now, I think. Oh, no, shoot my support guy. Nice defense of the shield. Oh. Let's get those bastards. Uh, got more gym knights coming in from this way. And this boat is getting increasingly on fire. Oh, I've got these two guys coming in as well. Okay, he got his shield back up. He died. I assume this is going to hit his shield. Yeah, it's annoying to shield damage every time, even though he's only got one hit point. Um, yeah, well, let's one two him then. Because that should give me enough to shiv him. No, because I can't move. Ah. Well, let's pull him back out of danger's way for a moment. You can move up to intercept those two there. Um, archer wise, we can possibly. It may one shot this guy, it may not though. Ah! Do we risk it? Let's risk it. Yes, that's what we needed. Okay, because he died, that means we can now get the interrupt on. Over there. And this guy can move up to within a 2 hex range. Maybe still in cover. Maybe not. 
Nice, that's what we needed. Thank you. And then I'm going to do a slashing defensive hit on you. Chitch him for six. Nice, which is taking him down slowly. Um, and this guy's actually going to go hard up against this wall just to give him a chance to try and hide for a little bit. He could do with getting healed up, really. Anyway, there we go. There we go. First enemy archer triggered the interrupt. Bounce off my shield. Bounce off my shield. Strike my shield. My shield. You want. That's why I brought it. Get over there. Advance. <laughs> the ship is even more on fire than normal. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh no, still had enough shield strength left. Okay. So. You're going to hit him. You're going to stab him. It should mean that the archer can finish them off. Which will give me my interrupt back up. Which will set. We'll then over here do a more high damaging lunge. Kills him in one. And allows me to start moving up then I think. Bit of hard cover. I might be able to duck. Probably, maybe from the archer. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm hoping the interrupt will cause a uh, cause enough damage. Uh, I could do with a way of healing. If you swap weapons, can you self heal then? Ah, oh, yes. Through sand to the. Can you aid yourself? No. So you can't actually just self heal quite like that. What about this guy? Does he have? Now swapping requires an action point. Hmm, tough one, tough one. Can't reach anyone this turn, so let's just leave him in cover for now. Then. There we go, there's the interrupt one. Interrupt two. Two bull kill. <laughs> okay, now we're... Ooh, he very nearly killed my guy. I think there's someone stuck in the belly of that ship who can't escape. It seems the Romans need to be taught a lesson. Begin. Is it just gym nights? Yes. It's fine. Um. Oh, he didn't realize he was going to counter attack him. That's unfortunate. Oh, if I were 20 years younger. Oh, he died in one. In which case, you move up. May I request? Some help, please. Stabilize the target. Now let's double time it with this guy. Now they're outside of range. Because we don't really have anyone else in our immediate vicinity who's a threat to me. So we're just going to move now, I think. This guy in particular, because he's the uh, two people with the living fire, aren't they? Not ideal. Not ideal. Come on, let's just get moving. Before more enemy reinforcements turn up. Care, yeah, there's some guy stuck at the bottom. Okay, these two Jew Knights are moving up. We're almost outrunning them. You're going to have to move, my guy. And leave the guy behind. Stabilising him or not. He did what he could for him. Um, I don't suppose they can see the gym lights from here. No. I'm actually going to put this archer up on the wall here. And set an interrupt behind. Because he might catch those two gym lights as they try and run up. That's all we can do this turn. I probably won't get far enough this turn to activate the trigger. No, they didn't. <laughs> Still some guy at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, main one is to get this guy up, I suppose. That's done it. There's 
No saving these galleys now. Nice. So they're all on fire. Um, you're a little bit close there, mate. If I'm honest. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, it didn't, we didn't actually have to escape. Whew. Okay, that was actually quite a tough one. <laughs> There's quite a lot of enemies there. Uh, at least we managed to get everyone out with an, un un uninjured. Even though we very nearly lost a guy. Now we've got to. Try, now we're making a run for it. Oh, the tox are on fire and everything. Ha, I call this a success. Even the harbour itself is aflame. Nice. Let us be the conquerors of Metilene. Uh, we've got a uh, rendezvous with Thermos' Legion. But I think we shall end the video there. What a level that was. Both the galleys are fully set afire. The whole docks are on fire. That was certainly a really fun one. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Expeditions Rome content. Because we're certainly going to be playing this one when the game releases. Thanks for watching, guys. And I shall see you all on the next one.